Hi everyone, it's Sherry. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. Yep, it's a cover up. Stay tuned. Y'all, paper crafting is my jam and I really do love thinking of new and creative crafts that we can make using paper. Welcome to my channel. I am so glad that you decided to stop by and welcome to all of my new subscribers and to all of my new friends. Welcome back to all of my longtime subscribers and longtime friends. Thank you all so much for the wonderful ways in which you support me and my channel. In a recent video, I made these awesome little boxes to hold our Project Life cards or 3x4 cards that you might have. You might have cut them out as cut aparts or you might have just cut them out from some regular 12x12 12 sheet paper. But having a box like this makes it easy for me to be able to find what I'm looking for. I use the color coding system for mine because that's just the way that I am. But you can use whatever system you want. I do think that these boxes are very, very handy. Of course, they're sturdy because we use chipboard. And a lot of you left a comment asking how you would make a lid for this in order to make these stackable. Well, that's what we're doing today. We are going to make our own custom lids for these boxes, which makes them stackable. I'll give you a closer look at how we do this in just a minute but y'all know what time it is. It's time to make it. So here is an overhead shot of those Project Life boxes. And you can see that my cards fit the boxes beautifully. And my plan was to actually store these in my cabinet side by side. But a lot of you said, what about stacking them? And stacking them is a really good idea because by going up with your storage, you're able to better take advantage of all of the space. So I've already created a lid for this one and you can see that it is a nice fitted lid we're going to do the same thing for this one and it's going to be so simple y'all so all we're going to need is a sheet that measures 11 and 3 quarters by 10 and 5 eighths I am using the same double-sided paper that I used to make the box but this time we're going to use the floral part for the lid so again, this is 11 and 3 quarters by 10 and 5 eighths. And this paper is more of a medium weight, but a medium weight to a heavy weight paper is going to work great for this. So here's all we need to do. We're going to make a score at 1 and 7 eighths. And then we make a score at 3 and 3 quarters on all four sides. So that's 1 and 7 eighths and three and three quarters on all four sides. One and seven eighths, three and three quarters. One and seven eighths, three and three quarters. And then we're going to fold and burnish all of the scores. And then you'll have two score marks coming across this way and two going up this way and you want to go to that intersection to make your cut. So if you simply count one score mark, two score marks, this is where you're going to cut. And it'll make more sense in just a minute. So we go to that intersecting point and I am going to drag straight down and then we'll angle in and we need to remove these three pieces And we do this on all four sides. So go up to that second point and drag straight down. And then we'll angle in. And we will angle here and reduce. So basically what we did is we freed this section here so that we could have our fold over flaps here on the end I am just going to angle in a little bit so that these will close or fold over easier so this is what your piece looks like so far let's go ahead and turn it this way we follow this to this end so you're going to go up to that second score mark and drag straight down
and then we'll angle 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 here and then we'll reduce this piece we'll go ahead and angle right here and now we just have one more section to do so we go up to that second score mark we drag straight down we have freed this one we're going to angle 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 and reduce and then I'll go ahead and just angle this so this is what your piece should look like we're going to go ahead and put this together and I'm going to put mine together using glue I prefer to use glue when I'm putting together any type of a box but you make sure that you use whatever you have handy so I'm adding glue to all four tabs we're going to go ahead and match our corners getting everything nice and tight nice even corners go in with my bone folder get that stuck and then we'll do the same thing here and the same thing here let's go in and get this stuck now I'm just going to take my glue we're going to place our glue on these flaps fold in and get them nice and stuck and we'll do our last one so let's just go ahead and add that glue fold this over and let's get it stuck and so now we can take our lid, bring in the box, and put the lid on the box. And y'all, there we have a beautifully fitted lid for this box. I did have the word curiosity on my first box. I removed it so that I can actually place it on the lid. Otherwise, my lid would not have gone over this. So I am just going to take some of my glue we're going to place glue on the back bring this in because I want to see if I can kind of sort of get them nice and even I can bring this one down just a little bit now we can just give that a nice little burnish so that it will stick go on the inside make sure I have a nice stick put that lid back on and now as you can see we have stackable so you don't need to put any chipboard in the lid because when you stack these the cards that are on the inside brace the box just like the chipboard reinforcement piece would do if you were to place one on the inside so you can see that I'm very easily able to stack these boxes and now I can take these and set them inside of my cubby so you're able to make these for a whole bunch of different things go ahead and make boxes for your knickknacks for your ephemera pieces color code if you want but you can see now that by stacking our boxes we're able to reclaim even more space that might be lost if we simply place them this way but now I can place them this way and go up with them as well so I hope that you guys have enjoyed this super quick way that you can make lids to fit these boxes if you have enjoyed this video please hit the like button and please comment
If you're not a subscriber to my channel, I would love to have you join this amazing online crafting family. You guys, as always, please be safe, be kind, be the reason someone smiles today. Happy crafting, and we'll chat later. Bye.